All right, today we are mixing the cement. Now this is one of the things that uh, do-it-yourselfers don't know too much about the cement and nobody really talks about this. So we're gonna talk about this because this is very important. First of all, I cut down the middle of the bag and I'm gonna put it in the wheelbarrow with the minimum amount of dust that I can. Get all the cement out of there. I'm going to spray in some water and get it started. I put a sharp, sharp strain and I go back and forth and try to penetrate the cement as much as possible. Don't really want to breathe the cement and dust, so. After your first batch of water, this is what it should look like. I'm going to mix it a little bit and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Alright, so here are the tools you're going to need. This cement is mixed and I'm going to show you what it looks like when, it, when it's perfect. You're going to need a tool like this, you can get at any Home Depot store for uh, finishing your joints. A nice stiff brush like this, of course a trowel, and definitely a level. These are going to be coming in later so I'm going to set them aside. Now let's uh, come in here close and you can look at this cement. All right, so the cement is all mixed up and I've got these gloves on. These are mechanics gloves. You can get them down at most auto parts store. They're very, very tough, much tougher than regular gloves like this. But as you can see, your cement is right when you can put your fingers in it and it'll separate like that. Stand up nice and tall, but still have some flexibility. You don't want any lumps in it. You want it nice and smooth and you don't want it too watery. Now I'm gonna show you a method that is a do-it-yourself method. There is a lot of professionals that are really good at using a trowel, but we're just building a couple columns and you'll never get to that skill level. So we're gonna do the same quality of a job quicker and easier with these gloves. Just scoop up a bunch of cement like this and come right over to the column. Just lay it down on the edge Spread it out, nice and thick, about an inch thick. Now some people are gonna laugh at you when you do this. But guess what, you're gonna get the job done much quicker. And it'd be a lot easier than trying to learn how to use that trowel properly. See how quick that was. Let's get some cement over here and we'll start laying some bricks. Now I have a decorative brick here, so I'm gonna pay attention to the sides pretty closely, but you don't really have to if you're just using regular bricks. They're the same all the way around. There's my decorative side. There's the ugly side. Now one of these sides is finished, one of these sides is not. I'm gonna just look at the finished side out and start my course opposite of the course below it. Putting a little bit of cement on the outside edges. Place them all right here in place. All right, so now I've got them all placed. Now it's to make sure we get them straight. First of all, we got the outside edges lining up. You can keep, scrape off the mortar there. You want these joints uniform throughout the whole thing. 
and you want them the same all the way from the top to the bottom because the bricks are the same. So if you keep the joints the same, your column is going to be the same size. Alright, so now I've got them spaced out. I come back, take a good look at it. Looks pretty good. I'm going to grab my trowel and my level. I'm going to get down even with it and I'm going to start leveling each course here. Pick a side to start with. I'm going to feel with my finger the uniformity of the size of the joints that are horizontal. That one is a little bit big. So now I'm going to knock it down and do it again. Nice and level. Away from there and go to this one. First I'll put it here. And check the brick on either side. I got this in intermediate brick. I'm going to tap it down to the point where the level is touching the bricks on either side. And then check it again for level. Nice and level. Use the trowel to clean up the cement on the outside. Again, after we get down to this step, we want to step back and look at it and make sure everything looks nice and even. This has got to go over probably about a sixteenth of an inch. Lightly tap them. A, po a gate on this side so this side I'm going to pay a little closer attention to make sure I get the level in there and just sort of double check everything then on to the next course okay the bricks have been up for uh, two to three hours now I'm taking my finishing tool uh, and I'm going to work the joints basically I work from the corner in uh, because if you push it that way on the corner it'll push all the mortar out you just start and sort of trim it off going this way I do one pass just past the mortar joints, then I, then I do the vertical ones, hit it one more time. Now I'm going to go over this again uh, with a hose in another three or four hours because I want this look to be a look like it's been here for many, many years. Uh, so if this is your finished um, look right here then you'd, you'd be really careful I'm not going to be that careful because uh, I'm going to hit it one more time um, with the hose give it that uh, weathered look and go on from the edges in all cleaned up and excess mortar out of here. I got some excess mortar on my brick again. It, it's okay because uh, I'm going to go back with a hose and clean it all up. If you're uh, using this as the finished one, you weren't going over it again uh, to give that weathered look, you'd want to make sure everything was brushed off nice and clean. Um, 
and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to do the uh, weathered look with the hose in a couple hours. So now I'm done with the column. It's uh, probably four to six uh, hours old, the uh, mortar, so you can still scrape it a little bit. Um, I'm going to do the cleanup on it. What this is going to do is give it a look like it's been here for many years. I've uh, wet it down like this and I'm coming across it at an angle. I'm using the back side of the scrub brush to get the stuff that doesn't come off easily. And I go at another 45 degree angle in the opposite direction. Again, I'm going to use the back of the scrub brush to get the part that needs a little extra. Get off. And then a nice light coat of water from the top down. And another spot right in here. And continue around until that's all done. And then I'm just going to let it dry. Uh, after a few days or a few months, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to then do uh, acid wash on it. Uh, but this will pretty much get it done and uh, be able to finish the job and I'll do the final wash all at once.